Hey Canucks fans, I hope you're well. I'm here to break down all of the goals from last night's Pacific Division clinching win by the Vancouver Canucks over the visiting Calgary Flames. Final score was 4-1. to one. And yes, you can call this goal breakdown dressed up for work edition. Let's get going. The Canucks actually, I'd say, dominated the first period and including this chance five minutes in you have Hoglander with a beautiful touch pass here you look at him working so hard on the on the boards a beautiful pass to McKayev gets one shot two shots before he gets bowled over so uh, yeah nice touch there by Hoglander and McKayev still snake bitten not gonna score a lot but at least he'll, he'll set up some plays as we'll see a bit later here we have Hughes to Suter again similar play good pass from the side two whacks at it but Markstrom the ex Canuck standing strong Standing tall, I should say. Acting strong, standing tall. This is a Calgary Flames power play. That you'll see here, Kuzmenko right here, rips it off of the post, off of the near side post. And then in later in the same power play, a really nice play here. Lindholm up to Bluger. Bluger lets Susie pass him, and then finds Myers. And look at Myers, streaking down the side, and a beautiful wrist shot past Jacob Markstrom. It's Myers' fifth goal of the season, and two of them are shorthanded. You just can't stop it when you got a six foot seven guy skating like that. What can you do? Well, I guess there's a lot of things you can do, but Markstrom couldn't do anything here. And let's see this. So we have Bluger and Bluger, it's almost like Susie is waving at him saying, wait a sec. So Susie, actually, I think he's saying, I'm gonna go change. So then he peels off, but then look at that. Just that little bit of a gap. This guy's kind of confused. Bluger gets it across to Myers. And look at Mark, like, look how big he is. He is so big, he's got to lean over when he shoots. A uh, lot, probably a lot of pressure on that stick, and then a uh, really good shot past Markstrom's blocker side. So we see it again here, a good shot there, and like I said, uh, third angle, the same exact shot. Well, of course, it's a replay. Myers, five, look at look how pumped up he is. He's saying, "Do you know that I have five goals and two of them are shorthanded?" That's what he's thinking as he's as he's skating there. So another, it's Vancouver Canucks again. Look at this play, PD. Over to McKayev on the right, then watch Petey. Goes to the net, McKayev with a beautiful pass to Petey. And then over to Hoglander. Easy goal for Hoglander, it's 24th of the season. All at even strength, that's pretty darn impressive. And what's impressive is this tic-tac-toe play. That all started with a Petey pass to McKayev through the neutral zone. So it's right here, Petey, good vision, sees McKayev. And then I really like this pass, look at McKayev. It gets through, technically there's three flames there and a fourth here. So it gets through all these guys and it, a lot of it's because Hoglander is driving the net, kind of like J.T. Miller did against Edmonton on Saturday on that uh, on that goal. I can't even remember who scored that one now when J.T. Miller is driving the net. And then now Petey's got the attention of all three of these defensemen, and he makes a nice pass behind him, and then all Hoglander has to do is tap it in. I really like this play. Let, there's another great look at that pass from McKayev right across the ice, and then Petey draws the defenders over. And uh, yeah, here you see Markstrom had no chance. Look at that. He has basically half the net. Take away his pad, although I don't know why you would. He has more than half the net, but easy, easy play for Hoglander. And look at them saying, he's saying great pass in Sweden, in Swedish. And then when everyone else comes on, then they have to start talking English again. Calgary gets a chance here. This is Huberto. Weird angle, but yeah, not, not on a shot on, on this replay. But yeah, nothing doing there. And then uh, I'm not sure what happens here. Oh, this Kadri getting right. Oh, yeah, that's a nice save by, by Demko. I think I was walking somewhere. That's why I didn't see that play live. So that's the first time I've seen that. Second period now. And the Canucks um, widen their lead. And we see a, a nice play by Garland up to Joshua. Two on one. Joshua and Lindholm looks Lindholm off. Boom. And then rips it past Markstrom on the blocker side. Very similar to Tyler Myers' shot on the blocker side. Almost from the same position as well. And I really like a couple things here. So Garland... Beautiful pass, great recognition that Joshua is breaking out here, moving to this open space. And you can see Garland outfights two Calgary Flames, and that's the first one. So there's the pass. You see Lindholm sneak behind him now. Now it's a two on one. You're gonna see Joshua look over to Lindholm right there. So now Anderson's gotta figure out, technically on a two on one, you're supposed to cover the pass. So maybe Anderson's doing a good job that way. Uh, it's tricky, I know, because you don't want him to walk all the way down like Joshua does, but Joshua does a great job of looking at Lindholm. Lindholm puts his stick down, so he makes himself an option, but then Joshua then just, look at that, snaps it. Right past Markstrom, oh, past his blocker. Like I said, almost the exact same spot that 
Meyer scored. I'm not sure if they scouted that or they that they see openings there when they're skating down. Again, everything happens so quickly, right? And a great goal by Joshua. His 18th of the season. So you have Hoglander with his 24th, Joshua with his 18th. That's 42 goals. See that math? That's 42 goals between the two of them. So now it's 3 0 for Vancouver. Going to the third period now. And I think this is where Demko's shutout streak ends and his return to the lineup after 14 games. So the putt gets back to Pahal here. And Pahal puts it past Demko who's saying, Pahek. And yeah, there's no shutout for Demko. But really, had no, when you see this, he really had no chance on this. Um, goes from Kadri here. Nice nice pass to Pahal. And then look, look at Demko. He's trying to look through Papasol. Pospisil. I don't think Lin oh, no, Linholm gets in his way here too. So it's mostly Linholm actually is, is right in his direct sight line. I think Zadorov is trying to stay away from blocking Demko's sight line, but then he's leaving two actually flames here. So the shot goes through. No one even waves at it, but it goes through. I, I think Linholm, I, I know, again, things happen so quickly, but I think Linholm is the one who took Demko's eyes away because Demko leaves this whole left side of the net. And he's sliding over a little bit too. Demko referenced that he, he there are a couple things he wanted to work on. I wonder if that goal is one of them. But yeah, no chance for Demko. Can't blame him. Um, just one of those. Uh, uh, maybe a great shot. Only a second of the year. But um, yeah, spoils to shut up. And then here's Anderson. I think this is Kaj. No. Here's Kaj. He gets stripped by Suter. Or Suter strips the puck and finds Miller. And then Miller with a snapshot also passed. Markstrom's blocker. So now that I think about it, three of the four goals were blocker side shots on Markstrom. I wonder if they scouted this. And of course, a lot of Canucks players are used to playing with Markstrom from years ago. So there's Kadri. So Suter swipes the puck away there. A nice little play. And then he, he, maybe he gets Kadri's skate on the fall through, but not enough to call anything. And then Miller brings it in. All alone, basically a partial breakaway and a snapshot, like I said, past Markstrom. So here's another good look at it. Miller with great anticipation. He was, he was on his horse getting back on D, but then he's able to get it back um, and turn it around and score on Markstrom. So that's it. The Canucks wind down the, the last few seconds. They win 4-1, to one, and they win their first Pacific Division crown. Remember, it used to be the Northwest Division when the Canucks were... We're doing so well um, in the early 2010s, 11s, 12s, 13s. But then they switched to the Pacific Division a couple years later. And this is the first time the Canucks have won it. Only the third time that they've scored, uh, they've had 50 wins on a season. So you could say that this is the third most successful regular season in Canucks history. Of course, none of it matters. Um, now we move into the playoffs, but they've at least secured home ice advantage for at least the first two rounds, if not three, if they somehow win the conference as well. But that's to be determined. So Canucks fans, thanks for watching. Let me know which highlights stood out to you. Let me know if there's something I pointed out to you that you didn't notice or if there's something that I blatantly missed. I always love to leave your, to read your comments and reactions on these type of videos. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform Personal Training and Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovenlander, legendary Andrew Chang, and to Hall of Fame and franchise members as well. And thanks to all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. So tonight, 11 o'clock, no post game, but maybe we're talking about ramifications of tomorrow night's game. Canucks and Winnipeg, well, it really depends on what happens the, uh, in the Stars Blues game today. I'll, I'll explain all that tonight at 11 p.m. So I hope you join me for my live stream right here on the YouTube channel. Otherwise, on your way out, subscribe, like the video, you can leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership, and definitely tell me in the comments which highlights stood out to you and why. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless, and go Canucks, go.